Okay, so the rig for the hybrid striper is uh, basically a, like a Carolina rig. You've got a sliding three-quarter ounce sinker. I've got a little uh, piece of surgical tubing just to cushion the knot against abrasion from that uh, hard lead hitting against the eye of the swivel. I've got a ball bearing swivel. I've got a 25-pound uh, fluorocarbon leader and then a uh, one-aught, two-aught, or three-aught circle hook. And um, that one, you can compare with this one. You see this one has a little tag of mono. Oh, okay. uh, I've had customers actually pick and clip that off. That's actually ah. there intentionally. And what it does, it prevents the uh, shad from sliding any further up that hook than that tag. And if uh, you done correctly, that'll prevent the point from sticking back into the shad and preventing a good solid hookup. Okay, so uh, the way to use this, I'll hook uh, the bait on uh, in through one nostril, out the other. You've got two controls on this reel. There's the slider here that controls the audible clicker. Okay, and then there's the free spool button here. So to let your bait down, both controls go down. The slider goes down and the button gets pushed down and the line goes out. You want to thumb it a little bit as a break. Let's say we were going to go to 15 feet, 12, 13, 14, 15. I would stop the line with my thumb and then we'll just slide the slider up and that rod is set to fish with. Now put it into the holder and put about a finger's width from the yellow cushion to the uh, butt cap seam right there. If you bury it too far, it'll be very difficult to get out with a large fish on there. Okay, so you don't want to put it very far into the rod holder. Now, when a fish starts to make off with the bait, it only takes ounces of pressure for them to make that clicking sound. That'll be your audible alert that a fish is on there. And in addition, the rod will be bent well down into the water, okay? The way you respond has everything to do with your success or failure in catching that fish, okay? Here's what you need to do. You just simply come behind the reel, you turn that just enough to click the silver button out, okay? See how little that took? Like a third of a turn, okay? Just like that. And then using two hands, with your left hand wrapped around the pistol grip right there, the trigger, you wanna pull this forward. And as you stand up, you want to make sure that you don't stand up and raise the rod tip. Okay, see, I'm standing up and I'm pivoting that rod as if I was pivoting it from the tip. That tip never moves. You see that? When I'm going from there to there? All right, and I certainly do not take this out of there and lift the rod tip up into the air. The less the rod tip moves from where it is sitting in the rod holder, the higher your chances of success of hooking and landing the fish. All right, so grip it pull it forward, and then just start reeling slowly. That's all there is to it. Never a hook set with circle hooks, okay? How can people get a hold of you if they want to go fishing with you, Bob? Well, um, my business name is Holding the Line Guide Service. I fish year-round on Belton and Stillhouse primarily. And uh, my phone number is area code 254-368-7411. And uh, my website is www.holdingthelineguideservice.com. Fish on. Fish on.